Hi, I'm Alex, and I'm going to give an overview of how Fulcrum makes live inventory capture possible and how keeping inventory levels accurate and up to date can actually be fairly painless when you have the right tools in place. So the reason that this is so important in the Fulcrum system is that the rest of the application uses that understanding of your current inventory levels to project future inventory levels which in turn actually drives a lot of the magic of the rest of the system, like auto scheduling, purchasing recommendations, and capable, capable to promise calculations and so on. So as an example of some of that, I'm actually on our items grid. So this is showing me a list of all of the current inventory level, levels of all of my items. If I jump into this item, I can see my expected inventory levels projected out here into the future based on future jobs and future POs coming in. To see more of how those types of projections are used, check out some of our other videos on scheduling, purchasing planning, demand planning. But for the um, purpose of this video, I'm going to really focus on this foundational data point, which is the current on hand number and how Fulcrum keeps that up to date. Because in Fulcrum, this number is actually representative of what you have on the shop floor right this second. And we always hear from customers coming off of other systems or spreadsheets that it's actually really difficult to keep that number up to date in real time if you're using systems or tools that weren't built around that concept. So I'm going to touch on how Fulcrum really is built around this concept of making live data capture really easy. So we're going to jump from the items page to our jobs page for a simple example. So this job is actually for this electrical box door that I have here. And if you scroll down, you'll see this is to make the electrical box door. Um, we're going to do some laser cutting bending. Uh, but the items that we're going to focus on are, is really this piece of sheet metal and then the finished good. So I need a piece of sheet metal. And if you look down here, you can see that I actually have none on hand. Uh, but I have already placed a purchase order for this. And that purchase order is going to drive what shows up on our receiving screen. And so this receiving screen is really meant for your team member in the warehouse to see a list of everything that's expected to come in and very quickly be able to check it in whenever it arrives. So this can be on a tablet, it can be mobile, you can carry it around. Uh, in this example, this first one on our list is the piece of sheet metal that we purchased for that job. So I'll click into that. And then you can kind of see here, it'll give some details so you know kind of where to put it, what location it needs to go in. We can support the you know, lot tracking. They can print a, a label if you want to add you know, labels onto it. Uh, but really all it takes is hitting this fully received button, uh, hitting the receive button, and now it is checked into inventory. And so as soon as I do that, we'll jump into our items page to see how that is actually recording an inventory transaction in real time. So I'm on the items page now for that piece of sheet metal. You can see now I have one on hand. And if you scroll down, you'll see all of the inventory transaction detail for that uh, receipt that I just made, who did it, when, uh, et cetera. And now that information will be used as we jump into job tracking, uh, which will kind of show how we decrement that inventory in real time. So I'm in our job tracker now, uh, and this is the interface that is for those shop team members on the shop floor. Uh, for more information on full use case of the of the job tracker, check out our job tracking video. Uh, but there's you know ways to capture time, uh, details to get instructions, but the piece we'll focus on here is the pick list. So this uh, is meant to be on a tablet or a mobile device, uh, so you can kind of carry it around with you. And here you can see we have some on hand now from that receiving event. So it's really as simple as just hitting the, hitting the pick button to decrement the inventory. And jumping back to our item one more time, if I scroll down here, now you'll see that inventory transaction. I am pulling it out of the job, recording exactly who did it when, all of those details. So the other thing that you'll see if I jump back to this job is that I actually also updated the cost of my job in real time as well. So now we have the inventory transactions for this job recorded for the sheet metal, but let's look at the inventory transactions around the finished good, the electrical box door. So I'm actually going to jump back to our job tracker. 
and we're going to complete the operation for the box store. And this is going to put 60 of those into inventory in location A1. So hitting complete there. And then if we jump back to that box store item, that's where you're going to see again that inventory transaction recorded right here already updated in real time. And really what that is going to also do is update our shipping screen. What you're going to see here is because we added some of that door into inventory and I have an order already out there for it, it's going to show up here as ready to ship. And so this interface is really for that warehouse team member who's doing shipments on a, on a daily basis to see in real time, okay, what's actually ready to go out uh, and then quickly uh, you know, execute on the shipment. So from here, they would kind of just click into the thing that they want to ship. The other thing that you can do from here is actually scan a label to pull up the correct shipment. So you have something in front of you, use your tablet, scan it, pull up the right shipment. Uh, but once you're in there, you'll see a lot of shipping details that are coming from, from the sales order. Uh, but the actual, you know, act of executing in the system is really just marking it as fully shipped, confirming that quantity, hitting shipped, uh, and that will also record an inventory transaction against this item. So then the last thing I'll touch on is obviously things go wrong. You may need to just make an adjustment to inventory. So you can do that pretty quickly from here. I'll just click into here, say we had to scrap something, I can add a quick note and then save that transaction. And then for those regular uh, stock takes, uh, you can also execute those within the Fulcrum system as well. Uh, it's a simple download and sort of upload process to uh, do your count. Um, and you, know, you can do cycle counts where you're maybe filtering by a certain location or things like that, and then upload the new results. So in summary, uh, Hope that you're able to see some of the ways that we uh, try and make it really simple and easy to keep your stock up to date. Uh, but this also is, uh, you know, just one sort of area of Fulcrum. So check out some of our other videos for other deep dives.